So this is just to wrap up the first two chapters, um, and if you didn't get the book yet, it's going to be okay. Um, the, the big gist of chapters one and two is just that uh, in chapter one, everything can be an argument, um, even things that are not obviously arguments. Um, things like the brands that we wear can make an argument to other people about how we want to be seen. Uh, we might not intend it that way. It might just have been what was clean or we liked the color or, you know, it's durable or whatever. But, you know, people can receive an argument that way, uh, even when there's not an obvious argument being made. Uh, we'll talk about some other examples in class this week. Uh, and then also he talks about argument as seduction because the whole idea is you want the other person to buy into it. You don't want to make them do something. You want them to want to do something or want them to buy this instead of feeling like they got tricked into buying it or something like that. So it, it's all about getting the other person's consent uh, and they are agreeing with you rather than being made to do something. Uh, and then chapter two, we're going to make this distinction between arguing and fighting. So the way he explains it is just that a fight is about winning. Uh, an argument is ultimately about agreement. So you fight to win, you argument to get someone to agree with you, going back to that whole seduction thing. And so when he talks about argument, he means it in the sense that we're trying to get people to agree with us instead of it being we want to make people do what we want them to do. Uh, and so we use those words interchangeably out loud, and we'll talk about some additional aspects of those definitions in class. But uh, that's the big distinction he wants to make. So when he says argue, he means the goal is agreement rather than winning. Um, and then he also, extra, um, I guess, expands on that idea of choosing between sometimes getting what we want versus scoring points. And we'll definitely talk in more depth about that in class. But the idea is sometimes we might give up the opportunity to show that we're right in order to get the person to agree with us. So sometimes those are separate goals, the uh, getting what we want versus winning. Um, and you might even get out of an argument in order to get what you want, because sometimes not being in an argument is a goal unto itself. Uh, but So he's just kind of laying some groundwork of explaining like the terminology and what he means by argument, and then just the fact that anything can be an argument if you're being intentional about the way that you present yourself or the information or whatever. And then also things we don't intend as arguments sometimes can get taken that way. And so we want to keep that in mind and kind of take ownership of the way we present ourselves to other people and we have more control and we can kind of cultivate the impression we give other people. And that's what uh, next week will be about is ethos and controlling that image that we give to other people.